Uh, first guest today is a daytime TV legend for over 25 years, 5,000 shows. His name has been synonymous with this phrase. Come on now! Please welcome 12-time Emmy Award winner, Bob Barker. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, and I'm delighted that Tilly is here. Yes. <laughs> Tilly and I went to school together. No yes. way! Come on. <laughs> well, you and Tilly, you both look fabulous. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, I think I've been watching the show for 26 years, since it first came on. Well, you're a loyal friend and true, and I appreciate it. We, I, I we love have, it. We, well, Thank you. We have a wonderful time doing the show, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. Now, when you first started it, did you think it would have a 26-year run? No one could have predicted that, no. No. No, I thought the show would do well. The late Mark Goodson, of course, created Price is Right. Right. And he called me and asked me if I'd like to do it, and I told him that I would, and we had a meeting and talked about what he had planned, the changes that he wanted to make. And we agreed that the show would probably do well, but a quarter of a century, who could have predicted that? What's your favorite game, Plinko? Uh, I like... I like Plinko. Plinko is probably the most popular game on the show. Yeah. I, I have fun with Plinko, but I have more fun with some of the other games. Like? I, well, I love the golf game if I make my putt. If I make my putt. Bob. When I miss my putt, I hate that sir, game. Sir, I need to talk to you about the golf game. What, what's the matter with the Here's golf game? Here's my problem with the golf game. You yeah. can be the best price guesser. You can get right up to that front line. And right. if you're not good at golf, like me, you would lose the grand prize. Well... The That's wrong, Bob. <laughs> That's really wrong. When I get home, we'll change it. Yeah, you should. It should be if you get to the front, you can, like, lean over and drop it in or something. Because I'm not a good golfer. Frankly, I don't enjoy golf at all. I like Tiger Woods. I think he's a fine man. Golf? Boring. <laughs> and to have it on the show like that, I don't think it's fair. Call and cancel the golf game, will you please? <laughs> you know what I love, though? When they climb up the mountain. The oh, yeah. Now that's a game. That I, am, I am surprised at how popular that game is. That's a, a simple little game. But uh, people love that game. Yeah. And I think it's because people apparently like violence. They like to see him <laughs> fall over that cliff. Well, it's because there's a little like angst and trepidation. You're like, is he going to go over? Is he going to go over? And the music is good, too. That, the music that, uh, that, that, yes. Yeah. You do watch this show. I love I, the show. I, I'm so flattered. But I, I love that game when he gets right up to that last step and then stops. Yeah. And the contestant wins. wins. That's a great win. Some of those contestants freak out, don't they? They, they go do. crazy. They do. I've had them, I've had, in the years that I've been doing The Price is Right, my feet have been stepped on, I've been hit, I've been, I've been, one lady was coming up the steps and didn't straighten up and just butted me in the stomach. Well, we I, have a clip of some of the crazy people going crazy. Well, I hope, are we going to see it here? We're going to see it. Oh, Take great. a look, a little well, montage right. we put together. Right. Price and Right. <laughs> That happened probably 20 years ago, and it is still the most talked about incident in Price's right here. She was out there in the audience, as you saw. Her name was called, she jumped to her feet, and out they came. She, <laughs> she came on down, and they came on out. And, and no one has ever forgotten it. No. Yeah. Now, what about the big spin? The people who do the wheel. Yes. And they get injured, they fall, oh, they, they can't seem to do it. That wheel, is so, it is such a simple thing. You take the handles and you spin it. But they spin it and they'll go over and then hit them in the head. <laughs> or they'll spin it, some of them, it's a matter of equilibrium. They spin and go down and fall on their, on their stomach. Others spin it, and why this would happen, I don't, they end up on their rear ends. They fall backward. Well, I had one who held onto the handle, and she spun herself under the wheel on her stomach. <laughs> 
and she went across the hall, ended up on Young and Restless. Across no. the hall. They thought she was an extra and paid her scale for the day. <laughs> we have a clip of that, too, because I'm sick, and I told them to put it together. I said, get all the people who fell down spinning the wheel, and we did. Oh, good. Take a good. look at the Here. people falling while they Here spin the wheel. <laughs> now it's your 5,000th show. 5,000th show will play tomorrow. That's Congratulations right. to you. you. That's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? It is amazing to me, yes. Now when I heard that you were coming on, I asked if we could possibly play a game or two. And all the games that I requested that I'm really good at, they couldn't bring because they're too big, like uh, the guy on the mountain or Plinko. Yes. We have another game we're going to play, the clock game. I love the clock game. It's one of our classic games. I played the clock game on the first show 26 years ago, and we've played it through the years. It's one of the greatest games we have. Here's my problem with the clock game, sir. I am too good at it. Cancel the clock game. No, no, game, I'm just please. saying. It's not a challenge to me. I it's can win that game, boom. You give me 30 seconds, it's way too much time. Well, let me tell you that it is the only game on the show yeah. that if you know how to play it and play it well, you can win. Uh, there's an element of chance yeah. in all of the other games. Yeah. But if you can play, if you know how to play this game and play it well, you will win it. That's true. I don't want to brag, sir. I don't want to boast. I can play it well. Would you like to play the clock game? I would enjoy that. Let's do it. All right. Let's we'll take it. 